Right, hi everyone, it's uh, Chris 2 uk 8 in the UK and there's huge updates for the Anytone D168. This is the group I'll be referring back to, Anytone 168, 868, 878, UK users group. If you search for that you'll find it. And, and yesterday uh, Norman Williams, who's a beta tester, he announced that the new firmware is coming soon. It's come out today. Now, there's two, two ways to update the, the, the firmware and the software. Um, and he says uh, this, this is a big update. The memory location is different from the old. He's not, about memory he's not on about memory channels. He's on about the actual computer memory that the code is written to because they had to make room for, had to shuffle it about for other stuff. Um, so if you're like me, you've had the um, D168 with CPS that's floating about pre 1.03, you would use the old CPS to update to 1.03. So there's the sequence there. And if you've just got the radio today or moving forward and you don't have the old version, there's another sequence there. So I'll leave that on the screen. You can pause whatever bit's relevant to you. And so that's about the sequence. I'll put all these links in the description um, in this post that come out today, the new 1.03. Um, there's a link there. I had trouble opening the link. I tried it a few times and it worked. I had to go in and view the source and, and I found the link in there and clicked on it. But even getting hold of it is tricky. It's because of security reasons in the browser. So if I click on that link, now it opens up in here. And the firmware and the software are in this link here so I've already downloaded it and uh, I'll take you to that now so I've downloaded the firmware and software the zip file I've unzipped it and I'm now looking in the folder and when using 1.03 onwards which is the one that come out today you need to update the baseband, which is a chip on board the D168. And this is the top folder, the baseband. So I'm going to try and do it now. I've already done it once, so it's fairly familiar to me. There's instructions here in a PDF. Top folder contains the files, and the, the bottom one here, the bottom file, is the update file for the SCT update. And it's 3288. Try and remember that number. So when we go into the folder, you've got SCT port exe. That's the executable file. If we run that, that starts the program off. Now, you don't want the programming cable in at this stage. Do not, though. It won't work. Um, so I'm holding the radio, the D168, and you've... You've got to switch it on, pressing transmit and the hash button. That's the one in the bottom right. So transmit, hash button. I'm switching it on. It says boot in. And it should come up with a screen. Right, warning boot mode for SCT. So you probably won't be familiar with this. Probably won't be familiar with this if... Uh, You've had an eight six eight. Sorry, an eight seven eight. So I'm now. Now I've got that message. I'm plugging the cable in, and it beeped. So I'm going to say okay. We've chose the platform. Then you've got to configure your COM ports. So mine's COM port eight, and I'll leave that port rate as it was. So they should be communicating with each other. If I click on, uh, where is it? SCT port at the top, flash update. 
it comes to this screen and to check that the, the radio and the computer are communicating you've got to initialize the port so it says successful so that they're, they're talking to each other and I've got to now browse it to the file which will update the SCT so program file and there's a browse button if I click on that I've got to locate the folder so I'm going I'm going out the file I'm coming back out the folders so there's the one there's the one that's in the SCT folder that we saw originally so I'll choose that and you simply press flash update so do that so the green lights green lines going across and th this is all this is the last step so once it's got to the end in the description at the bottom you should get a load of vocoders updated and it should say all successful so that's what we're looking for and um, yeah this is SCT 3288 the reason I said remember that is because there's a drop down with other options and mine it should land on the correct one to start with so I've now successfully updated all these uh, vocoders and, and other parts exit now the radio still says warning boot mode for SCT and um, you can now turn the radio off and the uh, the baseband has been updated it just adds extra features moving forward and um, you know do do this at your own risk but do, do not you know when it's flashing don't take out any wires or and um, only, you know make sure your battery's charged before you do it so that's the SCT part out the way we've updated the baseband so I've updated the SCT and I have installed the new software and firmware put the firmware I've put the firmware on the radio remember I had this before so to, this is how to update so I updated from the old to the new so that I had to open the old CPS that I had before which was pre 1.03 and I updated the firmware that way here's the instructions again if you've just got the radio you would just download the firmware and software for 1.03 and update the firmware from that and here's the sequence here now I'm just going to show you what's new in the change log because it does say somewhere where is it here in the next link so these are the changes that 1.03 onwards adds the satellite function allows you to set the power for the satellite separately from the channel power if you press the star button the bottom left is it bottom there top sorry top right on the keyboard on the D168 you can alter the power the satellite function improves this issue that the radio is stuck during predicting yeah satellite function improve the issue uh, sorry um, satellite function allow the radio to stay at the satellite menu ignoring the menu exit time so if you were looking up and down the list it won't come out after 10 seconds or whatever you set the exit time to it will just stay there satellite function in the CPS in the computer programming software that's what that stands for under tools satellite data updating 
this page has been totally updated. I'll show you in a minute. I'll run the software to allow input from different satellites. You can, t you can add and remove satellites. If you only like the ISS, you can just select that one only. In the CPS, Digital Master ID allows you to set up a Master ID for the radio in the menu settings. Um, radio ID. If you select the master ID in a channel, all the channels will switch to the master. So I haven't played with that yet. In the radio menu, GPS. Remember, this one doesn't have the GPS. Um, so I disregard that option six. That could possibly be for a GPS radio in the future. We don't know yet. So I disregard number six. And the last update is in the computer programming software under tools. There is radio recording. Update the recording page. Not sure what that means. The 868, sorry, the 878 only let you record digital DMR. The D168 now allows you to record FM and digital. So... I, I assume it's referring to that and the next step I'm going to show you on the screen the new CPS and the new features in there so this is the new 1.03 CPS software and highly highly recommend that you start your pl uh, code plug from scratch here there is a way to export out all the different sections the channels the talk groups you can do it that way and then import them back in again but do not import the settings the optional settings so i haven't done this yet because um, i'm trying to get a video out it works, but there's several things that don't work because I haven't um, exported them all out. So you must start your code plug again here. So this is my code plug, and I'll just show you the changes. I've just I've just got two channels in it, two or three channels. Um, so looking at the things that have changed, if you go to tools. You've got radio recording. That doesn't work for me because I haven't actually um, rebuilt my code plug. And you know you can update the icons and the boot image. You know this is that there are new icons and st have a look in the in the uh, in the download file. You can do them anytime. You don't have to do them. Um, but the main one is the satellite data uploading. So I've clicked on that and I've got the radio switched on with the programming cable in. And it's a bit difficult to see that. So you'll have to be watching this on a PC really to see me using a PC. So it's, it's completely changed. So uh, I'm going to click in the bottom left. You've got HTTP download. This downloads the file for the satellite kept files onto the onto the software. In this, t this is called a table. It, it, I'll, I'll refer back to that in a minute. So I'll click download. All the satellites go into the table in the software. And you can say whether which I think there's about seventy odd satellites here, so you know you you've got a tab here which is right. So if I just wanted the ISS, I'd have all these as no, and I'd have the ISS as yes. So choose which ones with yes and no next to them in the right tab that you want on the radio so uh, long as the ISS is on there I'm happy so it's in the table if that's all you wanted to do you just click right and it goes across to the radio 
there's another option here load download files so if you've got it from somewhere else or you've got files sitting on your computer you can load the file into the table so this is the table this window here we are moving and you can load sorry you can save this table to a file and you can load it back in again with load table data so I've got the uh, the satellites in I want to put in the radio and I click write data can I open communication port that's typical right so mine is com port 8 set com port 8 okay tools satellite load them in I've already got the ISS there and write it to the radio so very quick it's just a text file it goes across radio is now restarting and in order to use it you need to have your UTC set correctly on the radio and the time set correctly on the radio and when you do the firmware update procedure I'll just bring it up there's you will see it's referred to as MCU reset MCU reset is initializing the radio this is essential because several things will work erratically if you have not updated uh, sorry initialize the radio so to initialize the radio you would press you switch it off switch the radio off switch it on holding transmit and the button below it so I'm just doing it now radio off and you need the programming cable taken out so transmit the button below it which is PF1 switch it on and that goes into initialize radio mode it says are you sure you want to initialize it I don't so I'm gonna click exit so when you do it you would click confirm but the point I'm making is it gives you an option to set the UTC whether it's level or plus one or plus two etc and it gives you an option to set the time and date and that is essential when using satellites precise time and date because that it that is how it calculates the passes phew what a video so uh, I still don't know everything about it but this is it in a nutshell that's the best I can do on day one so uh, if you've made it to the end um, leave a comment let me know you've seen it to the end and um, thank you for watching have fun